These days you've got a lot of choice if you're looking to record yourself at home. But the savvy engineer will tell you, the simplest way to get the job done is the best one. It's gotten all too easy to become beguiled by the latest gizmo and forget why it even is we sat down to record. Take the example of poor Josh Turner. He's going to have a devil of a time getting a decent take. Rather than focusing on the music, he's preoccupied with phase coherency and spatial relationships of his many microphones. Brother, it's time to simplify. Next time you reach into your mic cabinet, reach for the one thing you know you really need. The Zoom H2. One of the things you gotta take to heart as an engineer is that the best piece of equipment in the world, in the hands of a fool, doesn't come close to the humblest piece of gear in the hands of a master. Can you become a master? Sure you can. You just gotta be willing to put in the time to go through every settings menu, read the manual, test, experiment, fail, and try again. Josh here has spent years developing mastery of his Zoom H2. He's spent a lot of quality time with it, and now he knows it like an old friend. The sound quality? Well, it speaks for itself. But some of the reasons that Josh has come to love the H2 is that it requires you to place the mic conscientiously. Listen here as the placement and balance gradually changes on Carson McKee as he sings a well-loved so classic. Closer to his instrument. It's what I'm thinking of. You wouldn't get this from any other And closer to his voice. I just want to tell you how I'm feeling. Truth be told, this kind of recording harkens back to the old days when things were recorded on analog tape. A musician's got to come prepared. You can't just edit things till the cows come home in some kind of computer program. See here, now that Josh has made sure that his microphone placement is all right, between him and his buddy Carson, he's talking through the arrangement to make sure that they get every beat just on time. That level of precision, you can thank the Zoom H2. Let's listen in on this little session. Hit it, boys. I, I just want to tell you how I'm feeling. Gotta make you understand Never gonna give you a Yes, there's no doubt that the Zoom H2 and the well-prepared musician are natural companions. But let's not forget that this device can stand on its own two feet as well. The tonality is smooth and pleasant and compares quite favorably with some of its more expensive contemporaries. How about a little tongue twister to see what we're talking about? She sells seashells down by the seashore. She sells seashells down by the seashore. She sells seashells down by the seashore. The eagle-eyed among you might have noticed a certain Austrian microphone there at the end, but I think you'd have to admit, the H2 holds its own. Listen to those smooth, sibilant consonants. Listen to that creamy mid-range. She sells seashells down by the seashore. And can a single 414 do surround sound? Not in this lifetime. So if I send you home with just one thing, it's this. It ain't what you spend. It's what you know. Next time you're clicking add to cart, remind yourself it's the options you don't have that define your sound just as much as the ones you do. It'll save you a buck, sure. But it might also just make you a better engineer.